Congrats, congrats on the win, man. Um, obviously a tough scrap. Um, is that what you were kind of expecting out of him, given his contender series fight, that you're going to be in for those those three hard rounds? Absolutely. Um, in his contender series fight, his uh, fucking ear was hanging off, and he kept coming at the boy. Like, so I was saying the whole way, if that doesn't tell you what's coming, I was trying to, of course, when you're visualizing fight and you visualize how you finish him and how you're going to put him away, but in the back of my head, I knew he was... Uh, he was good at taking the smacks, you know what I mean? So I caught him some clean right hands, I caught him with a few elbows. But uh, tough kid, tough kid, but uh, I'm just happy to be winning, lad. I've been walking around in my own head a loser the last day. Uh, I came into the UFC with a lot of hype. I'd never lost a professional round in my life. And uh, it, not that ego be damaged, but because um, I'm a realist, I know the game. I look at the guys I look up to it. I'm not afraid to say, like Dustin Poirier and stuff, they talk about the journey they've come through, and this guy's. I, I, I really related to those guys like Charles the Bronx and even in this division like I, I like to talk a lot of shit but like Marab even who went 0-2 and then came back I drew a lot of inspiration from guys like that so I'm just happy to get the win I, he's a tough kid uh, 15 minutes inside the UFC octagon it's uh, experience a bastard lad you can't you kill it you can't buy it you know yeah and compared to your debut I guess what were the differences that you felt in there was it more mental like you're saying kind of yeah. finding those inspirations getting your footing under you or do you mm. feel like you made a lot of advancements from the time we saw you in your, your debut physically mentally mentally mostly um I don't I didn't care about likes or views um, say less do more I just wanted to win I wanted to win and I wanted to do what my coaches have put in the, like we do what we've been drilling day in day out it's professional fighting it's like uh it's me living my dreams what i love to do but there's a lot of us repeating every day if you have good coaches repeating things every day that you want to hit in the fight and i just really want to to work on them and uh, not get drawn in by like when i came out against lapalus by the way i think it's a good argument that i won i'm not salty but i think it's a good argument that i did win the third and second but if he thought he won't, I don't, I don't care. This is the game. But again, I'd come in, I'd come in from Cage Wars, never lost. But when the fight's in the balance, and it's got this fucking madness going on inside the octagon, maybe desperation shone through. Where today, if uh, he hit me a shot, I just took a breath, took a wee step back, didn't play in his game. Just relaxing. I say that's the most, most important thing. And uh, I'm just happy to be winning, lad, and start to look up the division now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. And, um, I think something else we noticed, too, and this is maybe in the category of you saying, you know, I don't really care about the likes, or the impressions. Yeah. It seemed like your first fight, you came out, you were yeah, trying yeah. to play mind games, you were giving the finger yeah. to the crowd. And this one, you were very, it was very different. So was <laughs> We that played one mind game today. We stole, <laughs> we stole his food out of the... <laughs> he stole his food out of the fridge. But uh, no, I didn't care about that this time. I didn't... Uh, I was here for the win, here for the victory. Um, of course... Of course, I want to be a fucking star in this division. I want a big fight. I want my name in Vegas. Of course, I want all that. But without victory, they're either, you mean that's just, just bullshit talk. You're being delusional. So today was just say less, do more. Get in, get the fucking win, lad. You know what I mean? And uh, we heard your call out uh, through the camera here. Um, no, no microphone voice. <laughs> <laughs> Raul Rosas. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that. Let's do it. We've got the same record now. We, we can do it, the pay-per-view in Manchester. We can do it on the undercard of Mac versus Chandler. Or we can go to the Sphere on Mexican Independence Day. Have 15 fucking million Mexicans boo me in the way. I don't give a fuck. We've got the same record now. I'm in no position to be calling out Sugar or calling out Marab. But that's a realistic fight. That's, I feel like a bit of a decade calling out a 19-year-old lad. But we're, we're in the same position, same record. Uh... Let's do it. I think I'll punch his fucking head in. That's maybe an honest thing. He's a hand enough fight. He's, he's uh, dangerous but stupid. Let's go, Roosters. Let's go.